Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Perez and I'm a fashion photographer. Today we're going to be talking about how to begin to photograph models. This is basically a basic photo 101 on how to begin photographing models if you either just if you either just got your first camera or you've been a pro photographer at landscape architecture or another non-model type of photography and right now you're deciding to begin photographing models for the first time. The first thing is basically three steps on how to be able to photograph professional models. There's three steps before you can get to the professional model category. So you're going to begin with shooting friends and family first. The reason why I tell you to shoot your friends and family first is because basically they're easily accessible. Two, um, they won't hold you accountable if any of your pictures don't come out. And three, it's a really good way for you to practice your skills and hone your skills um, to become a better photographer such as your exposure, um, learning how to post models. They might be a little bit more understanding if you take a little longer to finish your photo shoot. Once you've done at least a good 10 to 15 photo sessions with friends and family, I'll say 10 to 15 just so that you are very confident in behind the camera. Um, have 10 to 15 good photos. Um, I want you to upload those into social media, which that means that is step two. You're gonna upload them to a, either Facebook, Instagram, or maybe modeling sites like Model Mayhem or OneModelPlace.com. Um, once you have those pictures up, um, you're going to use those as your portfolio to be able to show strangers online how what your photos look like, what type of quality you're offering, and you're going to start contacting internet models, which you can find at places like modelmayhem.com or onemodelplace.com. Start in contacting internet models and start offering something that is called TFP. This is the term that used to be used back in the day in film days, and it used to mean time for print. Basically, people would um, give you their time in return to receiving photographs, print photographs. Um, nowadays, they call them TF, um, TFCD, trade. Um, you can use any of these terms. Um, basically, is you're trading your time for digital images. Even prints if you're still shooting film. Once you contact your first model, you're going to basically uh, make an agreement between you and the model and you guys are going to agree on how many photos you're going to deliver at the end of the shoot and how long after the shoot um, you are going to send the pictures to her. Um, the reason why I told you to start with friends and family is because once you contact a stranger online, they will hold you accountable for your end of the bargain. So let's say for example, um, you forgot to turn the camera or you forgot your memory card or whatever. Um, they will hold you accountable um, for the pictures. If the pictures don't come out, then you will have to either reshoot or basically give them money for them wasting their time on a photo shoot that didn't come out. So before you go online and start contacting strangers, make sure that your skills are up to par, at least to have a decent end product to give um, to this person. So once you basically started shooting online models or hobby models, um, start looking at agency, agencies, modeling agencies, and start looking at their websites so that you can re start recreating the style of photography that is in most modeling boards. So you look at the modeling agencies and look at their pictures and what they look like and start recreating those pictures with um, internet models or hobby models. That way when you get to step three, you have a portfolio that looks just like something that will be on a modeling agency. This is when you go and contact an agent, you send them an email or you give them a call and you tell them that you are a photographer that is looking to update their website or their portfolio and that you will like um, the opportunity to be able to shoot some of their models and in return you will give them some photos and this is called testing in agency terms which basically means the same as TFP, trade for, is just testing is the term that has been used over the years in the modeling photography and modeling agencies. It's just a very old term. So just be like, I would like to be a testing photographer. I would like to start shooting some of maybe your new faces or maybe old faces that need an update. Um, and I would like to have the opportunity. If they're interested, they will send you an email back. If they're not interested, they might email you letting you know why not. But most of the time they will just not respond. So if they don't respond, I do not suggest for you to pester them and keep emailing them. Wait six months um, 
make sure that your work is getting even better and then contact them again. And that's it, those are the three steps on how to become a model photographer or any type of photographer such as maybe a fashion photographer, commercial photographer, and any type of photographer that requires shooting people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Bye.